Here we are, back again, Nate Helming, Helming Fest Athletics here, here with San Francisco Running Company, my t-shirt. Um, I also have a special guest, John Post, Hello. of the Modern Gypsies, uh, helping us out today. Um, I'm here to talk again about running, and I want to break running down into um, uh, our starting, our finishing, and our transition positions. And we can think about any movement this way, just to break it down and get a better understanding of what's happening. Now, when we run, we can see a distinct movement sort of from one leg, the transition in the middle, landing again on the other leg. Kind of from here, imagine I'm airtime, to the middle, and then I'm back again on the other leg. We can see the same thing with a pull-up or a squat or anything else. Now, in these transition positions, we see pushing happening, and we also see pulling happening. And I wanted to demonstrate some things with a pull-up here uh, so that I think is going to help with our running. So in these movements, right, we see pushing is a way to generate power, and it also generates some stability. So we're going to get John up here in the pull-up bar, and he's going to demonstrate a kipping pull-up for us. When he starts to swing, we can see he generates power with his hip, where that hip generates power here, and then we're able to follow through pulling with our arms. Pushing and pulling happening in a, in a, a very tight bunch. Now we're going to get John up here again, and he's going to demonstrate a strict pull-up. So even in very strict motions that we think are predominantly pulling exercises, this pushing still happens. It just serves a different purpose. So he's going to get up here. He's going to be very tight, very stable, and pull himself up that way. If he's a little relaxed and he's not pushing through with his hips, his body tends to break down and deviate, and we see this arch, we see these saggy legs. This is the type of pushing that we need to see when we run, and this is what I'm talking about. When I say pushing and running, I'm not pushing off my toes, per se, down here, but what I am doing is expressing good posture and stability through the midline. Right? So that's that idea that we want to think about. We can break movement down to our start, finish, and transition positions. In that transition, both pushing and pulling is occurring. It doesn't matter what the movement is there. With our pull-ups, we can see that happening even in a strict pull-up. I have to have some degree of push happening to create some stability for this pulling to happen. Same thing with the running. We need that same pushing and stability here so that we can pull with our legs. So just an idea for you this week, something to think about. We'll be back at it next time. Cheers.